in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Residents in the eastern city of Goma are facing rising levels of hunger. Fighting between the army and M23 rebels has caused mass displacement in the surrounding rural areas. There's also limited access to agricultural produce from rebel-controlled territory. CGTN's Anastasia Wawere reports. In the Mikeno district of Goma, Kasigwa Godfroyd, a trader of agricultural products, supervises the unloading of a truck from neighboring Rwanda. The truck brought in bags of maize and beans, staple foods in the Democratic Republic of Congo that are becoming more difficult to get from local farmers. Many people no longer go to the villages to bring back food because of insecurity. As you know, living here to get the Masisi beans is a big problem and those who have the courage to go there can't find a way to bring the food because the trucks don't have access. Produce from rebel-held areas are transported on motorbikes because the roads linking Goma to these areas are still inoperative. The motorcycles cannot transport a large quantity which affects the cost of transport pushing traders to also increase their prices. <laughs> We used to buy a bag of sorghum at $50. Now it costs $85. US When it happens to me, I have to raise the price so that I also get a profit. There is an increase in farming because of this war. We suffer a lot from it. Help us by opening the road section of Ruchuru. We ask that this road be reopened. We live in suffering. We paid $5 per bag from Rushuru to Goma, but today we are paying $25. How would you do this business if it was you? Next to her, another dealer also fears that this situation will lead to more hunger. It was Fuso trucks that brought us food before the war, but now motorcycles bring us food. This is a very serious problem. When the bag of corn cost 20 US dollars, you could store half a bag, 10 US dollars at home, and the children could eat for a month. This allowed us to trade well, but since prices went up because of the problem I just told you about, transport taxes, there are taxes on the rebel side and taxes on the government side. It is because of all this that we are no longer able to store food at home. If this situation continues, we will bury our children because our children who ate three times a day before, they had breakfast, they had lunch at noon and they had dinner in the evening, now find themselves eating once a day. According to the World Food Program, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, 25.8 million people are projected to be acutely food insecure in 2023. WFP says DRC is one of the largest hunger crises in the world. Anastasia Waweru for CGTN.